Welcome to episode 2 or 4 of the Diabetes series. My name is Mutama Kurumize. I'm a final year medical student from the Middle East State University, Zimbabwe, and I help sick people, providing them with information pertaining their particular health conditions so that they live in their best possible health state, not forgetting to point them to Christ, our greatest physician, even they have or they are about to lose hope. Um, in this episode, uh, we are going to learn on the symptoms and complications that come with diabetes mellitus. So on the symptoms of diabetes, we classify them into two main groups. The first group is referred to as the direct symptoms or the, the classical symptoms. So this is the first batch of symptoms. Then the second batch of symptoms is referred to uh, are the symptoms that come with complications of diabetes. By complications, I mean these are symptoms that are coming with indirect effects of diabetes. So I shall start by describing those that come as, with direct effect of diabetes, which are the classical symptoms. So number one symptom, we have frequent urination. So uh, diabetic patients go to the toilet often to pass urine. This is because glucose itself is a molecule. It withdraws water from the blood into the urine, into the bladder where urine is being formed. So at a given time, their bladder will be always having a higher volume of urine. This is the reason why they go to their frequent urination. Symptom number two is excessive thirst. This is because they are losing more water as they will be urinating. They are urinating more than often. Therefore, their body is losing more water. So as part of the regulation, they have what? Excessive thirst. So, they, so these patients drink water a lot. Then the third symptom that we have is excessive hunger. You know, because they are taking up glucose, but the, the body cells are not being able to utilize this glucose. In other words, the body cells are not being able to use this food that we are supplying. So it's the same as there is no food. So the body will keep telling them, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. So, and also the other symptom that we have as a direct effect of diabetes is loss of weight. Also because they are not use, utilizing their glucose. Then we go to the second batch of symptoms which come with complications of diabetes mellitus. I shall mention the symptoms as I also describe how the complication are brought, are brought about. So um, long-standing diabetes and if it is uncontrolled can become very bad. It can complicate to limb amputations, kidney diseases, strokes and other cardiovascular diseases that are associated. So I shall describe to you how each one comes about. If a diabetic person uh, do not make effort in lowering their blood glucose level and they always have higher blood glucose level at a given time. Uh, what happens is the glucose in the blood will end up reacting with fats that are in the blood. Now the product can neither be identified as glucose, it can neither be identified as fat. So the body somehow becomes confused to what is this. As a way to just get rid of that molecule that has been formed, um, it is deposited into some of the white blood cells that are in the blood. And now the white blood cells have been burdened with these molecules being put inside them. What they then do is they just stick to blood vessels and they are no longer carrying out their function. And either way, we can't now really say they are white blood cells. They are actually given a different name. They are now referred to as form cells because it's now a different thing. This is why diabetics are listed on people who have impaired immunity. Because as you can see, the white blood cells are also now being involved. Therefore, symptoms that come with um, infections like uh, they, they develop secondary bacteria, pneumonia and other infections and they can't fight infections um, as one who is not immunocompromised does. So this is how um, immunity impairment comes about with diabetics. And because now these fats are now being deposited in blood vessels, it is a condition that is referred to as development of an atheroma and it is compromising the passage in which blood was going to pass through. It's also a factor that contributes to them becoming hypertensive because blood pressure is going to rise. And also there are chances that this, um, this plug of fat that is now deposited on the blood vessels, it can also break off and flow with the bloodstream. It will come to very small vessels where by now the plaque is bigger than the 
than the space in the blood vessels. What it then does, it just blocks and blood will no longer be able to pass through. And this is where we get our ischemic stroke. Therefore, we have diabetics as um, being at a risk of developing strokes. That's how it comes about. Um, also, again, back to the impaired immunity that I have just described. You know, um, when we have a wound or a sore, just any opening of the body, this uh, bacteria that was living on the skin can find its way into the body and we really need these body cells, immune cells, the first defense mechanism to get there quickly and kill this bacteria before it uh, invades our bodies. So with diabetics now imagine, they now have an impaired immunity and when they have sores, they are not able to fight the bacteria that can enter through the sore effectively. This is why you have heard that diabetics have got wound sores that do not heal. That's where it comes from because the first defense mechanism is supposed to kill the bacteria so that the wound heals is compromised. Um, so these events that I was describing that are, are occurring in the large blood vessels but it does not mean that the small blood vessels have been spared. Um, events are also taking in the small blood vessels and if they take place in the small blood vessels of the eye, it will lead us to a condition known as diabetic retinopathy, whereby our diabetics, we have problem with the visions. Their vision progressively become poor and they now have uh, problems with with color vision also they have problems with the they, they, associated night blindness and then um in their vision there are also areas with there are also dark areas in their vision so generally some can even go blind and it's all coming as a complication of what of diabetics therefore it is important that our diabetics take it serious to live a lifestyle and take their medication so that they have they have ideal blood sugar levels always. Another complication that comes with diabetes is um, what is referred to as neuropathy, whereby the nervous system has been affected. A cascade of events okay. Till now they have problems with sensation. A diabetic can get pricked and they don't even know that I've been pricked. What they'll just see when they are bathing is, ah, I have a wound here. But when the wound occurred, they did not know. So it comes in that their sensation has been impaired due to diabetic neuropathy. So it is important, uh, this brings us to the discussion of what is referred to as diabetic foot care. It is important that knowing that I am diabetic, I have to be always covering my foot. I should not wear open shoes in case I get pricked and I, I, I can't sense that I have been pricked or they can step on a hot object or on a sharp object and they won't even tell. If they tell, the severity will be undermined, of course. So, and remember, if they have wounds, the wounds will have difficulties with healing. So it's important that diabetes always, diabetics always cover their foot. And also, um, they also have to check their wounds, their feet every day if there are any sores. If they want to cut their nails, it is preferable that someone else do it for them because themselves, they cannot even sense that they are now cutting their nails too deep which would then give us a sore and we do not want sores in our diabetics. Kidney disease is also a complication of diabetes and um, besides kidney disease being a so it is important that um, diabetics also be mindful of their blood sugar levels so that we, re we reduce risk of developing kidney disease. Um, so this brings us to the end of our second episode of the diabetes series where we have described the symptoms of diabetes and the complications that comes with being diabetic. Let's meet again on our third episode. Uh, stay blessed. <music>